first and last name in popcorn. It's Cisco and Ebert's Holiday Video Gift Guide. Gene and Roger's annual unwrapping of great ideas from videos gotcha. to knock out new video games. Over I'm the taking top. the fight to you. All on Cisco and Ebert's Holiday Video Gift Guide. He's here. I thought they were very enthusiastic. Yeah, well, what do you expect from a room full of lawyers? Kevin Klein stars as a double for the president and Dave, a box office hit that's now going into home video, and it's a movie that we both think might make a good holiday present this year. It's one of all sorts of videos, laser discs, gifts, and gadgets we're going to be reviewing on our annual Siskel and Ebert Holiday Video Gift Guide. I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. And I'm Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune, and obviously somebody gave us a couple of gifts. <laughs> Ties, you don't get to see this very often in the balcony. And our first category of gifts is movies on video. You might want to give or receive as presents this year. And my choice would be Robert Redford's film of the Sharp Edge family saga, A River Runs Through It, based on Norman McLean's acclaimed novel about a family that fly fishes together, but doesn't always stay together. Well, they said I'd find you at your other office. Yeah, deadline. Can't work that. Mm. You come for a drink? It's a marvelous film, and I think what director Redford does best here is not make the movie all warm and fuzzy. Mm -hmm. It's really a companion piece, if you think about it, to Redford's more acclaimed family drama, Ordinary People. That film won him an Oscar. I think this film, A River Runs Through It, is just as good. And you know, it is the kind of film that people might watch more than once, which I think is yes. one of the bywords for buying a film and giving a film on home video. You know why? Because it's a generational yeah. film. In other words, I think you would might want your kids to see it by themselves and let them think about it on their own. And then, and then talk then, about it. And yeah. then you see it later, yeah. That's a good film. My uh, selection for a video worth owning is the Laserdisc version of Danny DeVito's movie Hoffa, starring Jack Nicholson as the controversial labor leader. I gave the movie thumbs up when it came out, but even if you didn't like it, and a lot of people had their doubts about it, you might find the Laserdisc fascinating all by itself as a behind-the-scenes glimpse. Of all of today's directors, DeVito is the biggest laser fanatic, and on this release he uses the alternate soundtrack to provide a running commentary on the movie. This, of course, is a diopter shot in my eyeballs. I don't know, I, sometimes I get a little obsessed with the eyeballs. And look at this blooper, an outtake showing Batman director Tim Burton playing a corpse who apparently didn't read the script. Oh, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> this collector's edition of Hoffa is obviously a labor of love. Danny DeVito doesn't just throw in some extra sound bites, but gives us a new production about the production. There's a full hour of extra material including footage of his hilarious give-and-take sessions with Jack Nicholson. Watching Hoffa in this way is like sitting next to the director in the movie theater. It's entertaining and it's educational. Andy Warhol once said that the outtakes are often more interesting than what is left in in the movie. This might be a case. Well, DeVito not only makes good shots, but also good outtakes. Okay, now on <laughs> yeah. to our next category, and that would be an overlooked gem we think would be nice to give or receive. My choice is a film from earlier this year called Benny and June, a heartwarming human comedy starring Mary Stuart Masterson as a young woman with mental problems. Aidan Quinn is the brother who has always looked after her, and Johnny Depp is the strange and magical goofball who suddenly appears in her life. He isn't just a fan of silent comedian Buster Keaton. This guy has studied Keaton's routines until he can do them himself. <laughs> Benny and June is one of those delicate gems of a movie about people who are maybe just a little too special for the real world. The movie is wonderfully well acted. Masterson walks a fine line between hope and madness. And Depp really is inspired in his character, who is half clown and half friend. A good movie to give to somebody that you think is a little magical. I think I can come up with a better gift because I wasn't that big of a fan of that picture. Also, an overlooked film from earlier this year. I think it's a real lot of fun. It's called Matinee, and it was a tribute to the kind of 50s B-grade thrillers presented by Schlockmeister William Castle. Pictures hyped is so frightening. Remember, they had to have nurses in attendance right in the theater. John Goodman plays the impresario who brings his latest horror film to a South Florida theater during the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962. My terrifying new process, Atomovision, puts you, the audience, at ground zero. Not a safe place to be. But today, there is no safe place to be. If you know a movie nut in his or her 40s or low 50s, 
This is a picture that will really get to them. It's going to trigger a lot of big nostalgic laughs. Matinee, it's funny all times of day. That's the kind of ad they would run for yeah, this picture. Yeah, it is a very good picture, and uh, I especially enjoyed the scenes within the movie showing that movie, Mant. Yes. You know, is he man or ant? It's the kind of gift we might like. Now we turn to music on video, and my musical video pick is a two-disc, laser-disc set of Bob Dylan's 30th anniversary concert celebration recorded late last year at Madison Square Garden, a tribute to his 30 years of making records with a small galaxy of stars performing his songs. And here's the great Stevie Wonder performing Dylan's classic, Blowin' in the Wind. Popular music doesn't get much better than this. And Neil Young performs Dylan's anthem all along the watchtower. All along the watchtower, Prince has kept the view. Well, the women, they came and went, barefoot servants too. For many people in their 20s, Bob Dylan may be that guy with the funny voice that is parodied in comedy clubs. Of course, he was and is much more than that. What I like about this concert is that you can feel and hear the debt these great artists feel they owe to Dylan. It's a special Laserdisc set, also available on tape. I hope it's not true that a lot of young people don't know who Bob Dylan is. I can't believe that. I think if you're alive and listen, you know who Bob Dylan is. It should be that way. Okay, my choice for music on video would be Tina Turner, the Girl from Nutbush, a documentary about the life and career of the dynamic pop star. Here she is remembering her early club dates and the first hit record she made with Ike Turner. She was a last minute substitute after the singer who had been hired failed to turn up. Turner talks a lot about herself on this documentary, and you also meet her mother, her sister, her manager, and friends like Cher. And the film crew even went to prison to interview Ike Turner, who has since been released, who tells his version of their story. There's a lot of high-energy concert footage. You know, Gene, one of the little pieces of showbiz trivia that I picked up over the years is that Tina Turner has the highest score ever recorded on the treadmill test at Senior Side Eye Hospital in Los Angeles. She has outpointed even the guys on those professional football teams. And you can see what great shape she's in in the concert footage here. You know, you sell that to the Inquirer, you could make an extra $10 this week. <laughs> okay, coming up next, some special field-tested gifts, a terrific new video camera that I took on a trip to China, and Roger discovers a treasure in the world of computer-based entertainment. I tried to stop. I just kept going back. I can't control myself. What's harder to resist than Orville Redenbacher's buttered popcorn? New Red Butters. More buttery taste than you can imagine. Drizzling over every square inch of Orville's butterfly kernels. I love it. In three irresistible flavors. Movie theater butter, urban garlic butter, and zesty butter. New Red Butters. That's cool. Guests this winter at Walt Disney World. Call 407 W Disney. We make so much more than our parents ever did. And they bought a house, took vacations. That was then. Things are different now. So, how are we going to do it? Get the Wall Street Journal Guide to Understanding Personal Finance. The guide will help you with important information you need to know. Get 10 weeks of the journal for just $36 and your free copy of the Guide to Personal Finance. Call 800-348-1600. That's 800-348-1600.
Hi, I'm Susan Cost. On the next Health Watch program, I'll talk with an anesthesiologist about what you should know if you're going under for an operation. And we'll learn about an exciting new virtual reality trainer that could revolutionize anesthesiology training. It was developed right here in Broome County. UHS Health Watch, Sunday at 10.30 a.m. on TV 12. An Ebert Holiday Video Gift Guide. This is a new piece of software on CD-ROM called Microsoft Cinemania 94. It's a multimedia movie reference for both IBM and Macintosh computers that are equipped with CD-ROM drives. And it includes all 19,000 entries from Leonard Maltin's Movie and Video Guide, plus the complete text of Pauline Kael's 5001 Nights at the Movies, Ephraim Katz's Film Encyclopedia, and I might as well add, the complete contents of my own book, Roger Ebert's Video Companion. Microsoft Cinemania 94 brings together on one CD-ROM an enormous amount of movie data, written, spoken, musical, and visual. And you can search through the information in many different ways. For example, click and you're looking at a scene from Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. Click again and you're looking at career information about the director. Kubrick makes you think about Fellini and you want to hear some of the soundtrack music from Federico Fellini's Eight and a Half. Now you want to read some of the reviews of Eight and a Half. Click and you see the entry from Leonard Maltin's video guide. And now you want some really specific information, so you click for Fellini's biography and a picture of him based on information in the film encyclopedia edited by Ephraim Katz. And finally, click again, information on Fellini's Academy Award nominations and victories. Microsoft Cinemania 94 is useful as a reference tool and also fun for just browsing. For example, there was one movie song I really wanted to hear. You must remember this, a kiss is just a kiss. And one movie scene I really wanted to see. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. Cinemania CD-ROM disc is available right now for IBM computers for around 60 bucks, and the Macintosh version will be arriving at the year's end. Of course, you also need a CD-ROM player for your computer in order to use any product like this, and that'll cost you between $300 and $600. And Gene, the whole CD-ROM area is really exploding. There are thousands of discs now, educational, games, business applications, and uh, a lot of the new computers even come with a CD-ROM drive built right in. So it's part of your future. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, my turn. And I had a problem, and the solution turned out to be a terrific gift idea, I think, for the whole family. I had the opportunity recently to go to China with my family for the first Shanghai International Film Festival. And naturally, I wanted to document the trip. But my wife and I didn't want to take our bulky old video camera. Instead, we bought this one, a new one, the Sony model, TR-101 camcorder, and we sold our old one, and I'm glad we did. You're looking now at a tape we shot at the Great Wall outside of Beijing. And we were told this camera would give us a TV broadcast quality image, and you're looking at that image right now. Welcome. It's Thank great. you. Here we take a trip through the bicycle-filled streets of Shanghai. I'm holding the camera with one hand outside our tour bus window. Look at the steadiness and quality of the imagery. The camera is equipped with horizontal and vertical stabilization devices, and you can play it all back through your TV set. And here, through a plate glass window from our hotel room, is what the Bay of Hong Kong looks like. Well, look at this old-fashioned boat here. It, it looks like a mouse or something. Those two orange wheels are the eyes, and all those little things are his mouth. <laughs> no, we didn't go to China and not see the pandas. Here they are. Oh. Oh. Right, he looked right in the eye. Those images are pretty good quality, aren't they? I know what you're thinking, though. What does this camera cost? Well, I found it discounted for about $1,380, and two-hour tapes average about 20 bucks a piece. I know that's a lot of money, but in, instead of spending on individual gifts for the family this year, why not pool your gifts and buy the family one big present that everyone can enjoy? Throw in a year of birthdays if you have to. But this is the camera I think you should own if you're going to buy one. Don't you find that carrying along a camera on a vacation, though, puts the camera between you and the experience? Uh, not with this camera, and that's why I wanted to recommend it to everybody. In the past, I found that not with this one. I thought it was so easy, the video was simple, uh, it was a great idea. Okay, when we come back, a segment devoted to KidVid. Videos by, for, and about kids, which we think might make good holiday presents.
This holiday season, you can help feed hungry families in Broome County through Project Love, a cooperative effort of Chow, Salvation Army, Volunteers of America, and Catholic Charities. Just bring your food donation to the arena on December 19th for the Holiday Festival on Ice, or drop it off the following week at the Chow Warehouse, 81 Main Street, Binghamton. Project Love and WBNG-TV want to make sure that every needy family in Broome County has a food basket for the holidays. This week on Live with Regis and Kathy Lee, a Christmas performance by Amy Grant. A merry little Christmas. Plus, we'll turn the tables on Barbara Walters and ask her the tough questions. Wait a minute, Barbara Walters backing away no, from the subject? Not, What's no, going on in no. America? And find out what toy should be on top of your list this season. On Friday, a rare interview with superstar Diana Ross. All that and more this week on Live. Monday at 9 on TV 12. It took the kids back and forth to school 13,752 times. It took the family to the Adirondacks every summer. And after all that, your dealer says it's only worth about $800. To us, it's worth everything. If you have a car, a boat, or RV, call the Volunteers of America today and donate. You'll get the tax advantage, and you'll help the disadvantaged. It's the American way. Children's video, a popular category every year on this show because this is the one area where buying a tape can actually make financial sense. Kids will watch the good ones over and over, especially those with catchy tunes. For small children, I suggest Sesame Street's 25th birthday, a musical celebration packed with some great Sesame Street numbers like Ernie's Way of Counting Sheep. I don't believe this. I gently rock the by myself across the floor. I turn and then I toss and then I start to snore. My trusty little bugle helps me spread the news that I'm tapping two taps and I'm a rare and two snooze. Also recommended for little ones, a video version of the popular Tots book, Where's Spot by Eric Hill. In the book, you open flaps on pages to find Spot the dog. Here's the way it works on the video. Is he behind the door? Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, he's not here. Now, the video is not as involving as the book with your little one sitting on your lap, what video is. But that aside, where Spot is a tape very little ones will enjoy. What I'd recommend you do is look at this thing after you first read the book with your kids. Okay, I have a couple of KidVid selections, too. One of them would be a feature film from last spring called The Adventures of Huck Finn, which was an intelligent and very entertaining retelling of Mark Twain's classic story starring Elijah Wood as Huck and Courtney B. Vance as Jim with a couple of rich supporting performances here by Robbie Coltrane and Jason Robards as two charlatans they meet along the Mississippi. Uh, we also do some theater. Tragedy, you know. Yeah, we got enough uh, Shakespearean costumes here for a lot of us. But what we do best are the three E's. Robbery, forgery, and, and burg burglary. <laughs> Hell's bells. I wish I knew a good trade. Another wonderful video is Peter, Paul, and Mommy 2, a concert for children by Peter, Paul, and Mary. All the old favorites are here, like Puff the Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon, the sea. And also some songs kids should know, but maybe they don't, like This Land is Your Land. I've been a Peter, Paul, and Mary fan for a long time, and it was fun here to see them reaching a new generation. Peter, Paul, and Mommy, too, includes a free booklet with all of the lyrics so the kids can sing right along. And they probably will. Coming up next, movie collectibles on tape and disc from vintage Hollywood to the war in Europe. With ordinary cat litter, odor can linger, but Scoop Away controls odor better and lasts up to three times longer. It absorbs liquid waste into solid clumps. Remove them and you remove the source of the odor. No need to change your litter box. Just change your litter brand to Scoop Away. The new limited edition Nissan Sentra with an airbag, cruise control, air conditioning, and a four-speaker cassette stereo costs $2,000 less than a comparably equipped Toyota Corolla. $2,000. Just think, you can use that to buy your first tank of gas. Should you prefer a lease, you can now get a center for $189 a month with $500 down for 36 months. 
Arch Rival. It's a game with an arch. There go the name, Arch Rival. Games have rules, this is ours. These go in there. When the arch falls, you lose. When you win, it's more like the Arc de Triomphe. But you don't have to travel to France to play with an arch. You simply must journey to the happy land of steady-handed, tense bodies balancing fun. Arch Rival. Continuing our annual Siskel and Ebert Holiday Video Gift Guide, this next category always gets a lot of fan mail. It's Vintage Video. Great moments from TV and film history, now available again on video. And my first selection is the Fugitive 30th Anniversary Twin Pack, a package set of the first and last episodes from the famous Fugitive TV series starring David Jansen. With the enormous success of the Fugitive feature film last summer, this release shows you the origins of the Fugitive story as Jansen's heroic Dr. Richard Kimball battles to save himself and his good name. Another place. Walk neither too fast nor too slow. Beware the eyes of strangers. Keep moving. My next choice in the vintage category is a true collector's item, one of the most elaborate box laser disc sets I've ever seen. Five discs called Mickey Mouse, The Black and White Years, Volume 1, and it includes 32 black and white Mickey Mouse cartoons made between 1928 when Walt Disney released the first one and 1935 when Mickey finally went to color. The black and white footage has been carefully restored and the set includes a booklet plus something that has never been seen publicly before, the first color Mickey Mouse cartoon produced in 1932 and seen only at that year's Academy Awards. Faithful viewers will know how much I love black and white movies, but I'm forced to admit the cartoons do look better in color. Still, these early cartoons have a special energy and zip to them, and you can literally see Mickey Mouse's personality taking shape while you watch. Okay, here are two collectibles I can recommend. The first, a documentary called Elvis in Hollywood, available both on tape and laser disc. It focuses on the years between 1956 through 58, with Elvis beginning his ultimately disappointing movie career. Screenwriter Alan Weiss recalls Presley's excitement over his screen test for a role in The Rainmaker. It was a part of Jimmy Curry, which was a scene from The Rainmaker, which Wallace was then casting. He did a very good job of it. He was more than confident. Wallace naturally was very much enthused, and he knew that Elvis was going somewhere. And I also recommend Frank Capra's important morale-boosting series, Why We Fight, documentaries commissioned by our government to sway American public opinion toward entering World War II. Here's coverage of the evacuation of Dunkirk. High overhead British fighter planes fought the Luftwaffe to a standstill. We Fight Films by Frank Capra. Video material like that can really enliven a student's history lesson. I think the Why We Fight Films are really worth purchasing. Okay, people sometimes ask Gene and myself if our disagreements ever get so bad we take a swing at each other. <laughs> so far we haven't even come close, but in a new video game named Greatest Heavyweights, we go three rounds with one another, and that demonstration is when we come back. Gentlemen, our attempts to stop the Energizer Bunny have failed. We've got to get his battery. And to do it, we need somebody big. Me. Big. Ah! It's the end of the road, Mr. Energizer Bunny! From Touchstone Pictures, the students of St. Francis couldn't sing, couldn't dance, this uh, needs a prayer, and couldn't stay awake until Sister Mary Clarence showed up and showed everyone that miracles can happen twice. Five, six, seven. Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore thee. Whoopi's back in the all-new Sister Act 2, rated PG. Starts Friday, December 10th at a theater near you. The weather in the Northeast can be severe. That's why Action News has Doppler 12, the latest in weather technology. Doppler 12 can track approaching storms more clearly, more accurately, allowing us to give you more timely storm warnings, county by county. This exclusive forecasting system, along with the area's most experienced weather team, allows you to prepare for bad weather before it happens. Track the storms with Doppler 12, only on Action News. 
this is the place that feels most like home to me. It is the home of Dr. Maya Angelou. Each new hour holds new chances for new beginnings. She's an inspiration for me and millions of other people, and her home is filled with laughter and really good food. I always leave learning something. A really wonderful conversation with my mentor, Maya Angelou, on the next Oprah. Monday at 4 p.m. on WBNG TV 12. During our holiday video gift guide, each year Roger and I conclude the show by playing a video game. This year, Sega's Greatest Heavyweights, not using one of those old-fashioned hand controllers, but the new Activator Body Ring so, with infrared light, so my kicks translate to punches to the body, punches are punches to the head. And Gene, if you put your hand back like this, it's yes. a verbal insult. We do that without infrared on our own show. Yes, we do. Now, my boxer is named Stinky Cooper. I don't think I want to know how he got his nickname. I like it better than Eugene. What's your boxer's name? Eugene Greed. Let's okay, box. Okay, let's box. Get ready to rumble! <laughs> Round one. <laughs> you got nice shorts, Rod. I'm referring to the box. Oh, very close. So, what do you mean close? I won. This round, let's go okay, for round two. Go. How about it? You gonna walk up? Here, I, I got you. Uh oh, I'm cut. Oh, I should win this oh. round. Oh, ah. crushed me. You crushed me. 30 to 15. I landed 30 blows. You had to land at 15? Unbelievable. Hey, Stinky is coming up here. He's only 20th ranked. It's time for an upset. <laughs> I'm tiring. I think the only way I can win is with a knockout. I knocked him out. Oh, no! I knocked him out oh, in the last no. second! Oh, no! And I was ahead on points! Well, you were 7th ranked, I was only 20th ranked, so that's it. I mean, I guess, uh... Oh, in other words, the computer overrode your uh, po human possibilities, right? I did a pretty good job, How about in the first two rounds? Yeah, the uh, computer was operating there, too. I won the first too. two rounds. I won the first two rounds. Well, this verbal fight will continue for years, we hope. As we always say at this time of year, season screenings, everyone. It's America's favorite jelly bean, Jelly Belly. Now a new 20 and 40 flavor gift boxes, the original gourmet jelly bean, Jelly Belly. Ladies for close, smooth shaves in or out of the shower, the Lady Remington Wet Dry, rechargeable or battery operated, Lady Remington Wet Dry. Vicks Vapor Inhaler for fast, effective relief of nasal congestion, easy to carry and easy to use anytime, anywhere. Take a breather with the Vicks Vapor Inhaler. Now you can be warm and still look cool. Men's and women's three-quarter length leather parkas at Wilson's, the leather experts. Now, but you said before that the percentage meant nothing. It's how many blows you land. Yes, but that was before. This well, is I now. landed two more blows, and I got off 214 blows to your 152. I'm a more economical fighter than you are. Yeah, but I won.